Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Monday, the 21st of November. I'm Andrew Gagan. Global stocks finished last week on a high note. It was a choppy session on Wall Street. For the week, the S&P 500 fell 0.7% and the Nasdaq lost more than 1.5%. On Friday, defensive shares led the way with utilities, real estate and healthcare stocks higher. However, the energy sector fell as oil prices dropped on concerns of weak demand in China. Stocks specifically, shares in clothing retailer Gap jumped after beating Wall Street estimates. The quarterly sales and profit is luxury brand Banana Republic posted an 8% rise in sales as demand from affluent consumers remains resilient. However, it's warned that inflation has dampened spending by lower income consumers and Gap is expecting fourth quarter sales to be weaker. Shares of Live Nation Entertainment slumped on reports that the US Justice Department is investigating if its subsidiary, Ticketmaster, has abused its market power. And shares of gay dating app Grindr surged more than 200% in its market debut after merging with a special purpose acquisition company. Well, US existing home sales fell 5.9% in October, a record ninth straight month of declines as the 30-year fixed mortgage rate hit a 20-year high. Boston Fed President Susan Collins has said that with little evidence price pressures are waning, the Fed may need to deliver another 75 basis point rate hike as it seeks to get inflation under control, saying we're starting to see some promising signs, although certainly we're not seeing clear, consistent evidence of the kind of softening in labour markets, the kind of dynamic that we'd like to see. And services sector prices are still very high. I do not see clear, significant evidence that the overall inflation rate is coming down at this point. Well, the hawkish tone from Fed officials pushed U.S. Treasury yields higher, the 10-year rising to 3.83%, the two-year over 4.5%. And futures traders have priced the Fed funds rate to rise to more than 5% by June next year from the current 3.8%. Well, major currencies were weaker against the U.S. dollar on Friday, the Aussie dollar falling from 67.3 U.S. cents, and it's currently at 667 The Australian share market is set to open positively this morning. ASX futures up around one third of a percent. Global oil prices fell close to 2% on Friday. Investors worried about the potential for further aggressive US rate hikes and ongoing weakness for oil demand in China. Iron ore was marginally weaker, although rose more than 2% over the course of the week. The copper price fell 2.5% and gold futures price was down half a percent to $1,754 an ounce. And the crypto market is relatively stable with Bitcoin trading at 16,500 US dollars. Looking to the week ahead locally, uh, tomorrow, Reserve Bank Governor Low speaks. Wednesday, flash manufacturing and services PMIs. And overseas, Wednesday, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand meets for what is expected to be another 75 basis point rate hike. Plus, we'll get UK, French and German manufacturing and services PMIs. And Thursday, the FOMC minutes will be released. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.